So guys, I actually wanted to take you on a very special tour on my wool facility because I wanted to show you where I actually got all my wool for all my videos. So here it is, as you can hear the buying in the background, here it is. This is our 100% approved wool facility. It has the state-of-the-art equipment fence and also the fuel is actually grass. It is what grows these sheep. And our production rates are outstanding this month. A, a total of four wool out of this. And the special tool of the job is the shears. So this is completely legal. No one has gotten me so far. I, I mean, I mean, this no one will ever get me. And I believe we have to have more production because even you are the black sheep of the family and you need to be sheared. Hello everyone, it's Gabe or Sword to Face and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. So today, we will be reviewing a Minecraft mod for 1.7.10 called the Wool Armor mod, which you've seen in the title. And before I begin, this is more of a cosmetic mod than it is actually for a PvP because this armor doesn't really subs subside as armor because it, it, it's just too weak for armor. So anyway, that doesn't mean it's so bad because it is actually a really, really cool mod. So let's begin. So I have all the armor in this chest and this is actually a pretty new mod. And of course you do get a, you don't get a creative tab for it. I think it's under combat as you can see. You just saw the colors, so here it is. Our nice and beautiful uh, armor. So we have pink, blue, light blue, and black. So let's go for pink first. So when you put these on, they are actually crafted by normal, but I'll t go to the crafting later. So you craft, no, no, you don't craft. You, you put these on and they look like nice, cute little pink pajamas armor, which is actually really cool. So uh, Leviathus, I need your opinion. Do you think that looks good on me? Um, no answer? No? Yes? Yes? Oh, uh, how about you, Xerxes? You like it? Nod your head. Nod your head. You like it? I think he does like it. Yeah, he likes it. Okay, so, how do we craft this armor? We need two things. You need dyes and you need sheep, which is over back there in my sheep farm. So, to get this, you will need some shears for the wool, which, of course, you may know how to craft already. So, let's put this back. And we choose a sheep that we like. And also, I've developed this thing to keep the animals from escaping. So, it's called the double door. So, you put this here. And then, there you go. So, let's choose a sheep that we want to shear. Let's say we want to shoot, sheep, uh, shear this sheep. And this one. And this one. And this one. And, yeah, there you go. So, there you go. Double door. Get back. And then, we're going to go and dye this. So, let's say you want to dye it pink. So, let's get some pink dye. Which I forgot. I thought it was from pink tulips. I forgot. So, is it from pink tulips? I forgot how you get pink dye. Oh, it's rose red plus bone meal. Okay, so get that. You dye your wool like this. And as you can see, you have the pink wool. And then you can craft it like a chest plate. And then you get your nice and wonderful pink wool body, which actually will put on you like that, which is really cool. So, let's review some of the other colors first. So there you go, that's basically how you get your armor. You just have to, it comes in pink, blue, and black. I think he'll be adding more in the future, but for now he just added three beautiful, beautiful colors of armor. So let's put the blue one on, let's see how it looks. And leave in the comments if you have time to see which one looks the best. Oh, you can even combine them, which I actually forgot, you can do that. Which is mix and match color because one straight thing is very annoying and you want to have more selection in your clothing style if you know what I mean so there you go crafting is the same way as I said and let's actually go to the black one so take all this off and then the black one won't look too good because I already have a black skin and it will just make me look even more black so if you see that it just makes me look a little bit more black but you can see that you can distinguish the black over the really black so this is more of a charcoal Charcoaly black as it turns to night, which I don't really want, so let's put that to zero. So, charcoaly black, really cool. And there you go. So, let's try and mix and match some colors for a bit. Let's get some wool. Okay, so let's take this off, put that on. Let's take that off and put that on. As you can see, 
I look very, very fashionistic and fantabulous, which is a new word for me. Fantabulous. Don't you agree, Xerxes, as he eats the grass? Don't eat my grass, Xerxes. You're not allowed to eat my grass. So, I believe that is all for the mod. So, before we do uh, quit out of this, we have to tell you the uses. So, this isn't really useful for a PvP fight. It is more useful for, like, uh, it's more for cosmetics. So, let's say you're on a server and you want to, like, distinguish players or something. You can have them wear that. Which, I don't know why you would, but that would be really cool. And in single player, it just looks, it just gives you some swag, if you know what I mean. So, there you have it. Our wool armor. You can think of more uses. Your imagination can go wild, because all you need is sheep, dye, and a crafting table. And you can have this. Oh, yeah, we have to test the durability for this as well. So, we go to game mode zero. And it gives you uh, three and a half, which is not too bad. Why am I so hungry? Oh, yeah. I, I was doing the food mod the other day, so... Let's go that. Let's get some steak, because I'm really hungry. Okay. Let's get 64 of these babies, and then... Let's go back into game mode zero. Let's eat the steak. Why do I have to narrate everything I do? Okay. There you go, so we don't get... Really, so we can run. So, let's test the durability, and let's spawn in ourselves a zombie. So, why... Oh my goodness, I have to keep go back into this. Okay, let's get ourselves a beautiful zombie. And then let's go to game mode. Zero, as you can see. And put the zombie... Oh, yeah, it's peaceful. Okay, there we go. As you can see. It actually does protect you a bit. And the durability... Uh, Let's just go back into game mode one. And then the zombie will just perish because it's in the sunlight. I don't like that. Go away, go away, go away. I don't like you. Your, your, your useful time is done. So, back into peaceful. And the durability on this, I think we can see, is a bit... It's actually a pretty cool. So, I'm not too sure how much durability is. I can't really test it to its limits because that would really take an entire while. But I think it has a durability of uh, leather armor or a bit weaker because it's wool and you can use your imagination for that. Or maybe the developer just made it really durable for cosmetic purposes as I said. So anyways guys, I really do hope you did enjoy watching this mod review. Don't forget to leave a like if you found it creative, funny, or are actually going to be using this. I will link the mod and the mod creator in the description below. Give him all the credit for this because this is actually a really cool mod. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you this is your first video, because it really does help out the channel, and you do become an SCF Samurai, and we are almost at a thousand subscribers, which actually is a really, really big milestone, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, and also, do I have anything else to say? Um, I don't, so, oh yeah. I'm a bit sorry for not really uploading much of the videos that you've seen, like, I've been restricted to, like, uh... Week, uh, weekends only, but I will try to put more, so don't lose hope, because they, the more videos will be coming, you just gotta be patient, and we'll actually try to make them really good, because what's the point of waiting for a video if it's gonna be crappy, if you know what I mean, so yeah, anyways, I really do be, you do enjoy watching this for the second time, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully it is very, very soon, I don't want it to be delayed, because I know how much you miss me, so yeah, see you later! With Leviathan and Xerxes.